guys and welcome back to another episode of sims 4 custom content creator showcase and happy friday to you and happy first friday of november and <laughs> if you kind of got a feel of what's going on i'm doing something different again today but it's only because it's november and with november what's the first thing you think about at least me. It's not Christmas. It's Thanksgiving. Yes. Yeah, so since this month is the month of Thanksgiving, and if your Sims are going to be celebrating Thanksgiving, like some of mine will be, then you want to have all the appropriate things in your game to make it very Thanksgiving like, right? Okay. So <laughs> today I'm going to showcase a couple of Thanksgiving items that I found. Surprisingly, it is very difficult to find Thanksgiving type items in the world, in the, in the internet, on the internet, on Tumblr, on Sims resource, whatever. I did find a couple things, but like I said, it was very, very hard. I found more so um, decor type items. So we're only going to spend a little bit in create a sim and then we're going to head on over into the actual gameplay and get some of the, um, the content that I have from there. I am going to put some pants on her because I just don't want her walking around with no pants on. But anyway, so we got a couple of, and you know, honestly, this is probably the reason why there wasn't hardly any clothing for Thanksgiving is because who wears Thanksgiving shirts? I would think more so like fall like attire. Like when you think of Thanksgiving, you think of leaves and browns and oranges and, you know, rust colors and things like that. So maybe that's the reason why I couldn't hardly find anything. But I'm going to show you what I have. And of course, check the description box to get the links to where I found everything at. And feel free to download as necessary. And I would recommend, I always say this, but I recommend if you're going to put holiday specific items into your game or just um, theme specific like wedding, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, whatever, I would stick it in a separate folder, name it the appropriate occasion. In this case, I named my folder Thanksgiving. And when the month of November is over, I will take it out. I did the same thing for my Halloween stuff, even though it took me a while to do it. I just did it like the other day. Um, actually, no, I'm lying. I just did it this morning. Anyway, <laughs> Um, I just took my Halloween stuff out. So just make sure that you take in and you put it out, you know, take it in and you put it out. What am I trying to say? Anyway, you get the point. So I would recommend that. So that way you don't have like a lot of randomly generated Sims walking around in Thanksgiving shirts in July. Okay. All right. Let's continue. All right. So I got this uh, Thanksgiving shirt and it looks like it's a recolor of a shirt we already have. So it'll be with the other t-shirts. And it has like a little turkey on it. It says Thanksgiving. It actually is kind of cute. I don't see anything wrong with having this in my game at all for Thanksgiving. And in real life, would I wear it? Probably not. But who wears Thanksgiving shirts? I don't know. Anyway, then we got this shirt. This is actually a recolor. You needed um, this mesh for this shirt, which actually this shirt, like... <laughs> It's kind of really cute in real life. I like sometimes when you find like hidden gems, like you'll go download a mesh for something else. And then the mesh was actually really cute. And you're like, yay, two for one. Anyway, this one has like cute little owls and whatever on it. It's not really, I feel like it's fall, fall-y, if that's a type of word. But then I feel like it's not because who's walking around with their, at least not my fall in Anchorage, Alaska. My fall, you're not going to be walking around with your tummy hanging out. It's just not going to happen. But this is a cute top nonetheless. And you could always pair it with a high-waisted skirt or something like that. And then it could not have your tummy hanging out so much. So it's a definitely an option. Then you have this long sleeve shirt that also says Happy Thanksgiving. Um, so, okay, I'm going to be honest. I, I do like it, but I feel like it's a little off-center. Over here on this corner, you have the owl. Most, the predominantly of the owl is right here, and the rest, there's nothing here. But there's nothing that 100% like, the only thing they could really do to fix it is just take this owl and shift it. Now, let me see if I just fix her, because sometimes I notice when you fix, like, the little boob area okay maybe it's because she had the saggy ones i don't know but still that owl is predominantly on this side so eh, this one's kind of a miss for me to be honest with you um i just feel like it needed to be switched over just a smidge but that's it so that's just that top for that i told you i didn't get that much let's check really quickly and see if i got i don't know if i got any full body stuff let's see oh i did get one full body item and you know what i remember downloading this and thinking it wasn't really technically like a thanksgiving type dress but it reminded me of thanksgiving type colors and it is an all-in-one um my only concern with this of course is the odd shaping at the bottom it might be because of the way she's standing and i think that's exactly what it is because when she shifted it moves so it just has something to do with the mesh let's check her out walking really quickly because a lot of times oh that's not bad 
it actually sways and goes with her so that's actually not that bad let's check out the other colors and see if it came in other any other colors i don't know that it did oh no oh yeah it did come in two colors okay a darker reddish color and then like a regular orangish color I, i'm a saying that i don't know and then i think for bottoms i'm almost positive we didn't get anything but i'm just going to double check yeah i don't think we got any accessories like i said it was a very slim picking of things that i could find and i'm almost positive there's no shoes so let's hop in and make her a gentleman really quickly because i did get some things for the guys it's so funny when I switch them over and make them a guy. It's like, what? Anyway, so the same type of shirt for the ladies you got for the gentlemen. There's no full body, no pants. So like I said, this one's kind of hit or miss um, with some of the things I was able to find. But I definitely wanted to do like something Thanksgiving. So we'll probably skip really quickly into... Um, the um the game and look at some of the items for your house so this is really cute though it says happy thanksgiving this is actually really cute for the kids i think it's a recolor of a shirt yeah we already have so it'll be in that category then you have this sweater that has an apple on it oh my gosh this is adorable i like it i like it i like it then you got this one that has a caramel apple on it with a sweater jacket type thing very cute uh, and i think we had pants yeah we got like matching pants to go with with it i think just that one color and i'm almost oh oh we had something else we had some oh stockings probably for the ladies the little ladies so let's make him a girl and go over and uh it's so how they decide to put that hairstyle on her i'm just curious anyway so you got the same tops for the boys that we do have for the girls and then we have this extra sweet caramel this one is adorable and i don't think i remember this one as well not being like gen generally like or specifically thanksgiving but i felt like it was very thanksgiving type appropriate then you got this one that says happy thanksgiving this one is actually really cute too i like the way the cuffs are um excuse me i always forget to turn my notifications off and then i have like stuff going across the screen who does that um apparently me <laughs> anyway so then those are the stockings do we have any full body we do we have this cute little um well it has like a bird on it and it has like the orange like i said this is more like just fall type colors this one comes in two colors as well and if you know me, you know I'm crazy about butterflies. And that is adorable. And then we have this right here that looks like literally a, a caramel apple. Here's the caramel and there's the apple underneath it. And this is a cute little recolor as well. And the little tights are super cute. You could pair it with some boots. And girl, you are ready. And not this hairstyle though. No offense. <laughs> I said this like a couple of, uh, I was talking with one of you guys. I don't remember who I respond. I try to respond to all the comments. And I think it was virtual smile. I think it was you. If you're watching, uh, we were talking about very girly things and very masculine things. I'm a very girly girl. So I like curls and hair, like long hair and or even short hair, as long as it's feminine. You know, I like earrings and things like that. So when my girls aren't very girly and my boys aren't very masculine and that goes for any age range wow that was loud that goes for any age range middle you know whatever young whatever i just always feel like you know <laughs> i gotta do something about it so anyway long story short i am i'm positive that is all we got but cute stuff nonetheless and anything to kind of make your thanksgiving event even more special for your sims so really quickly i'm going to hop into the game and i will show you the things that i got for in game for your house to decorate so i'll be right back Okay guys, so we are with here with the Bellamy family and this is their first little Thanksgiving in their brand new home. And I just moved them into a home in Willow Creek. I'm not gonna even front. It's just like a regular <laughs> three bedroom, two bath home. So we're going to go in and decorate this house and make it all Thanksgiving-ified. Is that a word? I don't know. I'm always making up stuff. I'm just like Halloween-ified, Thanksgiving-ified. Everything, if you put a fight at the end of it, you know it, it it embodies it accompanies whatever that thing is you just find <laughs> i don't know <laughs> anyway okay so wow we got quite a bit of stuff i think some things are going to definitely be very thanksgiving -y. see see what i said or um kind of just uh, well i'm looking at it like maybe maybe not uh we got like a really wide variety of stuff but let's get started so one thing that I grabbed was, I don't know why we have these Halloween bats, but I think maybe there was pumpkins with, I don't think it was these candles. I remember going through the stuff and I was like, some of this stuff I know is going to work and some of it is not going to work. I feel like this though, the candle is going to be too, 
it might be yeah this one I think I remember seeing I wanted it for the candles because it reminded me of something a little bit more um folly if that makes any sense you see what I'm saying like let's 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 zoom in on up in here is that the most I can do I hate doing this I'm gonna switch to the sims 3 camera because I could get a little bit better I still can't even get that close to it but you get the idea it has like a, a, a very brassy kind of it make like a good table piece and it comes in we got middle we got regular and then we got large so I don't know which one I just grabbed let's see really quickly I think this is just a Halloween candle so then we can get the middle one so let's try to get the same color oh that's black uh what color was that oh so this would be the well, I don't know what color that was I just got. <laughs> but then if you wanted to kind of stack them and put them near each other, does that make any sense? Oh, sorry, wrong way. See what I'm saying? I can't go back and forth between cameras. And then you got this large one right here. So like I said, these are considered Halloween candles. But um, look, I just feel like they would make like really good. That one is way too big. This one is way too big. But the other two, definitely, I'd probably even say like this middle one would probably be like the best one but that would make like a really pretty um centerpiece for your table like a little cloth one and then here we got some hollow i don't know what that is oh i swear i really tried <laughs> Okay, the aprons though. I know for sure I wanted to get the aprons because I felt like with Thanksgiving, you're going to have aprons and you're going to have a lot of cooking. And I like these hanging aprons that I found and I cannot scoot back. Why can't I scoot back? I think I'm running my computer like at super speed right now. I'm like working on too many things at once. But anyway, these aprons actually come. Here's a Thanksgiving one right here. And it came in a pack of aprons. So of course, I just downloaded all of them because I wanted them all. But you got this Thanksgiving one. Um, then there's also a coffee one, butterflies, uh, Valentine's Day, fruit. So really get, get the whole pack. But then, of course, if you want to use something, I'd probably just use the, Val the uh, Thanksgiving one. I don't see another Thanksgiving one that you can use. But so basically you got this cute, it looks like it has like corn on the cob or something on it. So you got that cute little decor you could use. And I'm just going to scoot this over because she needs her apron accessible for when she comes in here. How cute is that? All right. And then we have, uh, I know there was some decor that I got as far as furniture and stuff because it was considered like fall type furniture if that makes any sense so when you think about fall you definitely think about or you think about thanksgiving and have a family over you think about fireplaces and things like that and when i found this fireplace i thought it was so super duper um i just it's just really pretty i like to get different fireplaces personally custom content because i like uh the variety that you get i'm gonna have to like move something i don't even know where i could put this let's just put it in the, in the storage for now because i mean you know this isn't like a real family I'm going to play with, but I just want to kind of show you guys this fireplace. That is like so dangerously close to that table. But um, I don't know. I just liked it. I, I saw it and I was just like, oh, that is so cute. Anyway, so then you got uh, some more uh, some more Thanksgiving type decor. Uh, we're going to leave that fireplace right there. Hopefully I don't make these poor people broke because, I mean, they're, they're just moving in their house and I'm already like souping it up with a step full of stuff but you got this wine bottle that has like wicker and it's like on a wheel I guess you could say let's see if I can get any close to it so you can see it so that's kind of Thanksgiving -y like when you think about it I don't know I feel like it is but maybe not is it I think it's more so like how you feel things are you know like what what's your definition of but I just think like wickers and browns and oranges and like food type items and family type things I just I don't know I feel like that's all like Thanksgiving anyway I grabbed some more pumpkins I actually got some last time and I'm trying to keep them in my game but when I took my Halloween folder out it was in my Halloween folder but I like these because um I like the way that they looked stacked like they just like effortlessly put on the ground and then here's another wicker wine bottle that has like um I don't know how to describe it but it's funny because it's a real clear bottle but it just reminds me of like a not a cornucopia but just like the wicker and everything I don't know it just reminds me of something Thanksgiving -y. I don't know forgive me if you're like what what is she talking about like I really I really like went looking for stuff and I really felt like I got some good stuff and now I'm like oh anyway we got more wicker wine bottles that you could decorate with we got this one and like I said I just feel like these will make like really good decorations for your fall decor and I think we could put this one yet yeah, we could put this one on the fireplace and then you got that one up here 
So you kind of get where I'm going, right? I'm going to take this out the way because it's just, it's, it's working my nerves just a smidge because it's so close to that fireplace. I feel like as soon as they go start a fire, it's going to be trouble. <laughs> it's going to be like some major trouble. Anyway, but as you can see, you can kind of put all these things on here. Uh, we also have um, some fall type pillows. And what I like about getting the pillows is they're kind of like, well, I don't know if this one's going to work, but most of the time you could just kind of place them on anything. They don't have to be like a custom content. I have like a ton of pillows in my game. I don't use them as much as I would like to because I feel like if I end up wanting to use that house later on and I don't have that piece of yeah, it will not let me put it anywhere. But um, so I did get some pillows and they have like little pumpkins on it. It says Halloween, but to me, I felt like they were just more so fall type. And then we have this pillow that also... Man, are you serious? Oh, my pillows are being total, totally camera shy, camera shy right now. Let me see if they'll go on a bed. Um, maybe they're supposed to be for the bed and not for the couch. No? Oh, no. Or maybe if you put move objects on, maybe they'll, they'll, they'll work a little bit better. But they're not, they're not working at all right now. So we're going to skip the pillows. But um, definitely pillows are a good, good way to uh, decorate and, you know, do something temporarily for your family. Then you got this basket of apples. I mean, you know, when I think of Thanksgiving, I think of apples too. Why? I don't know. Fall? Maybe so. I don't know. <laughs> Long story short. Then we got some grapes that I think are just like little decor items as well. You could probably just like put them in the kitchen. That's weird though how they kind of go into... I can't get them now, so I'm just gonna have to undo. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. I want to just undo the grapes. I don't want the grapes right there. And then we got some more things. We got uh, some wicker baskets, like I said, which are considered Halloween, but I just feel like that they would make really good decor for um, for Thanksgiving. And you could put them on your counter. And of course, if you wanted to, you could totally put like your produce and stuff in there. I think. Uh, will it go? No, but maybe you could put a pumpkin in there. I'm trying to think. No, oh, I could have swore like on the pictures it had like stuff inside of it, but maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, but I feel like you should be able to put stuff in there. Like, well, look at that. <laughs> maybe if I play around with it enough, I could stick some stuff in there. But um, move objects on, and you could definitely put some stuff in there. And that could be like the groceries and the produce and things like that that the person who's cooking might have needed. Um, you know what? It would be really cool though. Oh, I can't put it up there. There is actually a mod that's like a slot mod and it like makes any item, any object, anything like a slot. <gasps> Ooh, these would be really cute underneath here too for like storage containers. You know what I mean? Like I have like a ton of storage containers in my house because my kids have like video games that we have to store and then um, toys and things like that. So I'm like always having like these little boxes underneath little um, and then the beds under the tables under the entertainment stands is everywhere anyway um, but that's actually kind of cool uh, what else we have I'm sorry uh, oh 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 I gotta go to show all because that's the only way I can get to everything so let me go back to show all sorry 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 I I completely messed that up and then let's go back to filter items we're gonna do just custom content all right check and then let's go back down. All right, what else do we have? Uh, we have more baskets right here, which I said again, is more so for like uh, dec decor items. Um, I, this, I wish that there was a way, I think if you either move objects on and then stick stuff inside of it, I wish there was a way I could stick like the grapes and stuff like that in there, but I don't think I can. I think the grapes will just kind of like sit on the table. Uh, then we have a little pumpkin here, which is really pretty. Um, if you hit, let me see. Oh, I can't slide it. Okay, I was hoping that I could get it closer in that little slot right there. And then you have another pumpkin, which has like a little silver tone to it. So as you can see, this little breakfast, I mean, the sorry, the little dining room table is coming together really well. I'm trying to see if I could de decorate this a little bit better without all the clutter. Like maybe if you put this, oh, there you go. There you go. And they kind of meld into each other. Just kind of weird, but it, it almost kind of works and then it kind of just like what and you know what I just realized I had um oh placemats but they didn't work I tried them out like a long time ago when I was trying to do something else and they didn't work because they were only for specific tables and I didn't have like any none of the tables actually worked right but anyway and then if you don't want to make your own uh, uh, centerpiece you can just use this one which is really nice it looks like um it literally looks like some wheat maybe and some grapes hanging out and all sorts of stuff. It comes in different colors. Let's see, we got like an orange, then we got that um, 
yellow color then we have more of a purple which to me purple takes it to a whole nother level i'd probably either just use this one or this orange one but nothing else or just like i said make your own with the stuff that i've uh, provided already and then it gets even better you got a, a turkey you can stick a turkey on your table look how cute that is oh my gosh oh that turkey is adorable now i feel like we need a bigger table yeah i feel like we need a bigger table um so we'll, we'll have to see about that one um <laughs> and then if you wanted to go outside and decorate your front porch you have this thanksgiving floor cart by louis market um now okay it's a little too small for me i would totally size it up now the only problem is is if you size it up too big i have to do it in relation to them um then it's probably too big because in relation to their size it's way too big so probably have to do it back down but if you want to put it in your yard no that's still too big so let's just make it regular size but i think it'd be really cute to stick on your front porch and then maybe put like your um pumpkins around it let's see let's see how that'll look if we can figure out a way to get the pumpkins as close as possible to it no nowhere oh darn it okay maybe not maybe the pumpkins will not go but the pumpkins could always go in the yard i feel like i see people in my neighborhood all the time they put pumpkins in their actual garden and it's really cute it's different because it, it looks like you've made a pumpkin patch but it's really not a pumpkin patch anyway then we got uh this thanksgiving pumpkin plant now do pumpkin plants really look like this i don't think so but it'll be really nice well this thing is huge um probably have to just put it oh you can't put it on the floor you have to put it on a table Look how big it is, though. Can we put it on the fireplace? That might be different. Um, probably can't put it on the fireplace because I got so much stuff up here already. So let's get rid of this really quickly. I'm just going to see what it looks like. If you could put it like on the fireplace, that oh, you can. Oh, oh my gosh, I like it. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. Ooh, guys, can you see it? I hope you can see it good. My computer is about to overload. I'm working on a secret project right now, and I had to pause the secret project to do this video so i can um get it out for you guys in time because i'm behind oh that is really nice i'm almost thinking though i know i'm probably doing too much right now this is not the home decorating um custom content showcase this is just showing you some thanksgiving goodies but um how cute is that and then all you need is a family picture behind it and boom See, see, I'm showing you some good stuff. I was getting worried because I was just like, oh my gosh, all the stuff I got is funky so far. Anyway, we got Holiday Lumberjack Statuette. I am not sure where this guy came from. He more looks like, um, looks like he has like a traffic cone on top of his head. But alas, he did come with one of the Thanksgiving things I downloaded. So maybe we'll put him in the yard. I don't know. Would he be like a scarecrow type thing? I have no idea. Anyway, and then we got more pumpkins because who doesn't need more pumpkins? I feel like pumpkins are like the thing for the fall. And I think these would be really nice if I could put it in the yard somewhere. Move objects on would probably work really good with this because then you can kind of just like place them in the garden area and then just have like your own little pumpkin patch. If you get what I'm saying, I think that'd be really cute. Uh, then we have these crystal pumpkins, which more look like type of squash to me. I don't know um but you can put those on the table and decorate so you could totally um well i can't put it like in the middle because there's something already there but that's a nice little uh piece of decor as well i think i think i think yeah those are really pretty uh do they come into the they do not oh they do come in a couple colors they come in a orange and green and then they come in purple but then like i said once you do purple i feel like it gives it too much of a halloween vibe but you could totally do like this orange and green one that was really cute or you could stick with that off-white tan color and just do that one so a ton of pumpkins so far so good um we got a arcadia brass bowl which i think came with um some more decor that we have oh this is so cute oh my gosh I like it. Oh, let's see what it looks like on the table. Oh, it's like the perfect size. Oh, I feel like, could you like put it like in the place of, no, I guess you can't put it like in front of, yeah, no, I think it just has to be like somewhere in the center of the table, but that's a really nice piece. Then we go outside, we got a Thanksgiving wall shelf. So let's see, where can we put this Thanksgiving wall shelf? Because, you know, I don't know of anybody, to be honest with you, that decorates this much for Thanksgiving. <laughs> I'm more of a I like Thanksgiving but I like it for the food I don't care so much about the decor but I'm more of a Christmas girl like I go all out for Christmas but wow if you just wanted to take the guesswork out of decorating on your wall you could just put a shelf with pumpkins on it 
I mean, why not? Um, ooh, and this is like my favorite fit. When I found this, I literally like screamed in my in my head. I was like, eee! because who doesn't like cornucopias at Thanksgiving? Um, I'm probably gonna have to make some space, and I don't want to. But we gotta we gotta look out this cornucopia really quickly. Let me get rid of all of this stuff. Um, I'm just gonna delete. I know it's going to go in my inventory, but it'll be quicker than me dragging stuff around. So we got this cornucopia right here, which looks awesome. The only thing I wish I could find was like a table runner, but I did not find any table runners. Believe me, I looked. I really did. I did not find any, but that would be so cute if you had like a table runner. Even if you had that table that has like the stripe down the center and you could just act like it's a table runner. I think that'll be um, really nice. Yeah, I'm kind of working with what they have already at home. Anyway, then you have a Thanksgiving wreath, which as usual, when you use wreaths, you have to have um, or just any decor that's going to go somewhere that is not supposed to go. <laughs> You got to have move objects on. So let's just go on and do that really quickly so we can check it out. So it's bb.moveobjects on. And then voila. Uh-oh. No, not right there. I would say voila and then put it on the wrong side of the door. Um, let's put all the walls up so we can check it out. All right. So then you have this very pretty Thanksgiving wreath. Now, I will warn you, I have done this before, putting wreaths on the door. When you open the door, it'll just be floating in midair. It will not go with the door. It will not move out the way. It will not disappear. It'll just be floating in thin air. So you have to think about that. But of course, if you're just doing it just to say, hey, we decorated for Thanksgiving and you got this awesome backdrop. I mean, look at that. That looks really nice. And then with all of your other decor you got, like if you wanted to put this closer, and you had, I probably rotate a little bit though, um, where it's not like, uh oh. Of course, I can't see where I'm going because I'm way down here, but you guys get the picture. If you want to put some decor, it like every time I move it, it like disappears. Why is it like multiplying? I don't know. But anyway, you get the picture. It's very, very, um, I don't know. It's just, it's very nice. It's a very nice feature to add like a wreath on your door. But like I said, I'll show you in a minute when, um, when it's time to go in. Anyway, then you got this Thanksgiving pumpkin by Angela's design. It has a mouse in it. I feel like this one though, I remember when I saw it, I was like, I probably wouldn't use it inside, but you know how people will decorate outside with big old like inflatable type things or something like that. I love creating like inflatables. Like I did that with the ghosts and stuff with, um, and of course I got move objects on, so it's acting totally perfect. But um, I did that with the ghosts in a lot of my LP, well, in at least two of them I remember. Um, instead of having like just a small little tabletop ghost, I actually made it like an inflatable. It came out really cute. Anyway, then we have leaves because who doesn't need leaves in their yard? Um, so pile of leaves <laughs> and then you have this huge pile of leaves. Um, it's funny, though, because I'm just like, eh, where would you put it? Look at how it looks underneath this tree, though. That actually is kind of cool because then you can look, make it look like the leaves just kind of fell on the ground. Um, there is an autumn mod. I should probably totally get that mod and showcase it. I saw somebody else do it on their channel and I was like, oh, but that'll be perfect along with the um, with the leaves. So yeah, I might actually do that next Friday. It's a very small mod though, so maybe not. I don't know. We'll see because it's a small mod. I feel like it'll be like a quick video and it won't even be worth it. I like to do nice content videos, like a whole bunch of stuff for you guys. Probably too much though because you're probably like, she is so long winded. Um, you got this mirror, but I think I got it with that other set because it was like a package deal. But I really, really wanted the reason why I got all that Arcadia stuff is I really wanted this leaf vase because leaves and fall go hand in hand. So let's go on and grab it really quickly and see what it looks like. Um, let's go put it over here by the cornucopia. We have so many options right now for tabletops and table decorations. But uh, this is really pretty, though. Um, I don't know which one is prettier though because I like the turkey but I like the cornucopia and then I like this leaf as well so I don't know uh, then we got a hay bale table which you know when I downloaded this I was like will it be an actual table I don't know but you could always put it out for decor because hay and Halloween I guess go hand in hand now let's see if it acts like oh it does act like a table so you could totally put like stuff on top of it are you kidding me? And it could really be a table. So you could use it as decor outside and actually put stuff on top of it. That is kind of awesome. Um, you got these bookshelves that came with another set. Totally not even necessary for this particular thing. And then this Arcadia table also came with that stuff. The drawer, cabinet, uh, these shelves did. The other thing is the Halloween harvest cart. I liked this one. 
but the only thing I was concerned about is how would it work. So if I was to put this here, it's just a blank card. What would be really cool though is if I could put, and I can, that's what I was wondering. Can I put pumpkins and stuff on top of it? So it almost acts like a table and then you could kind of just like put pumpkins and stuff around it. Maybe not so much the big pumpkin. Um, let me see if I put this pumpkin, can I put more on there? Probably not. It looks like it's just one pumpkin. They might meld into each other because I noticed that with a lot of custom content, when you put it next to each itself, it kind of melds into each other. It's not doing it now, but I have move objects on right now. So it'd probably be best just to size this up and let it embody that entire that entire thing. Yeah. Um, and I think, yeah, this little chair came with that Arcadia set and this came with that Arcadia set over oh, the Halloween shelves. I knew like some of the things I downloaded came as a set together. So that was pretty much it. But anyway, that is all that I got. But like I said, I knew I had a ton of in-game stuff, just not as much Halloween, um, not Halloween, whoa, Thanksgiving uh, <laughs> clothing and stuff for your Sims. But nonetheless, I think I did pretty good. I'm going to show you guys really quickly that 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 what it looks like really quickly with the um, with the door. I'm going to let, uh, let's let, uh, I'm going to let her, I'm just going to toggle her to do something so she can go inside. I'm going to let her, if I do fun, what are you going to do? Okay, she's going to watch TV. All right, so you guys can see what I'm talking about really quickly. So when she goes in, this is cute though. I did good to say, see, it just hangs in the air. So just beware when you do put stuff on your door <laughs> like that. Now, the other option would be is maybe put it on the side underneath. Uh, let's see what that looks like really quickly. And then I promise you I'm going to end this part. But another option may be to put it on the, um, the side on the wall as opposed to on the door. Um, and you could totally do that. And I think that would be just as fine. And really, if you did that, you could probably even get away with putting two. And then you won't have that uh, that 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 happen. I mean, that's if you're worried about it. Me personally, I like it on the door because it looks more realistic. Because in real life, I really have a wreath on my door and I just like how it looks. But that's another option. You can put them on the outside and then have that. And you know what? That is crazy. That looks really good to say that we just did like a little quick impromptu like decor type thing for me to show you guys. But you can at least see what we got and I think everything came out really good and I'm going to take a picture because of voila that looks awesome anyway thank you so much for watching guys I hope you enjoyed I for keep forgetting to mention this I do have a Facebook page now for um, my channel so if you want to check it out it's official Samantha S-I-M-A-N-T-H-A -A, which is like a play on my name my real name is Samantha with an A not an I but anyway um, so you can go check it out and I'm trying to update it quite often and I also have an opportunity to kind of message and chat with you guys if you want to so if you're on Facebook, go check that out. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and thumbs up if you like this video. If you have any comments about upcoming videos that you'd like to see, please let me know. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.